Welcome back to ABB TV on this episode, Modus Sonic Prayer IPA. This is a delicious, gorgeous IPA in the same vein as a lot of those American West Coast IPA styles. It's very hop driven, um, a lot of fruity hop flavors in there and a pretty balanced malt profile. As you can see, color-wise, a gorgeous sort of golden, almost an orangey to a faint amber into it as well. I think over the years, this beer has gotten a touch darker. I think from when it first came out, I thought it was a lot lighter than, than this particular one. I could be completely wrong. I've had a lot of them. Memory's not that crash hot anymore. Aroma wise is plenty of beautiful juicy citrus flavors. So you're going to have your, your oranges, your stone fruits, um, a little bit of grapefruit. Um, it really utilizes a lot of what they call now the, the new world hops. So you know, the hops that do come out of Australia, New Zealand and America. So it's probably a lot of the, a lot of the big seas, Cascade, Citra, Centennial. Um, Probably a bit of Simcoe in there as well, I think. Maybe, I could be completely wrong. Flavor-wise, um, quite a, a, almost a, a drying feeling um, on the tongue. There is a little bit of, of, of the bitterness there, which is part and parcel with IPA. So that's what you'd expect with an IPA. You expect something that's gonna be a little bit bitter, a little bit more bolder flavor-wise and, and, and um, hop-wise hop as well. Uh, it is quite an easy drinking beer for a beer that is 6%. Um, so you do need to be a, a little bit careful with these ones. Um, it's quite easy to go through a four pack in an afternoon and then realize you've had like Eight standard drinks and you're well on your way to drinking yourself into oblivion really um, it's a it's one of those beers that I I've always enjoyed drinking when you know you're, you're having a few drinks and, and you start off on that well I do it anyway you start off usually with something light so maybe a lager or a pilsner or, or even a pale ale um, then you move into your IPA territory you might have a, a neeper because it's a little bit more juicier flavoring then you may move into a west coast ipa like the modus here uh, then you may step up into if, if there's a double ipa sitting in the fridge you might have a crack at that one and then you know you really want your your boozy factor in and then you hit up uh, your dark beers your stouts your imperials you could do that you could not uh Modus as a brewery, it's one of my favorite breweries in, in the country. Um, I don't think they put a foot wrong when it comes to their beers. They are specialists when it comes to IPAs. Um, they've really cornered the uh, IPA market for a few years now. They've um, nailed uh, their hazy and, and neepers that they've been brewing as of late. Um, can't find a beer that I haven't liked with Modus. Down the track, I'll, I'll do a review and, and gush even more about Modus when I talk about their Red IPA, which is for me, one of my favorite beers ever. Um, so strap yourself in for that one. That'll be half an hour of me telling you how good that beer is and why you should drink it. Hopefully. But for this one, definitely a beer that I think everybody should try and everybody should have uh, in their fridge. It's a great beer. A great, beautiful West Coast hoppy IPA. Mm -hmm.